Well, that's what awaits us. Have a look at that for sunrise. So we've got a little bit of wind to contend with today. It's kind of overcast, a little bit gloomy. that's for sure she's pretty lumpy out here we've had to come off-road trekking to find one of our riding spots that we usually access by boat we've got good access to now by kayak but oh, it's pretty challenging conditions out here now so we've had three days straight of a southerly breeze this is supposed to shift around today to a northerly at some stage but because of that we're contending with half meter swells wasn't an easy launch and it certainly wasn't an easy spot to get here today, quite off road. There we go. Yep, I've got a fish on here. What have we got? I don't know what, we just pulled some line. This is really heavy. Oh, good flathead. Yeah, big one. It's a really big flatty. This is a nice fish. Oh yeah. That's a ripper. Oh yeah, that is a good fish. That's a really good size flathead, that one. That is a very, very good eating size. Well above 40, so um, on the two to four kilo rod, a bit of fun, we'll take that. So that is a nice big flathead on that Ned rig. Got that little TD Craw, kind of yabby imitation rigged up there, and uh, that was a really nice size fish. So great eating size. Just using that really slow technique, we're basically letting it sit on the bottom. It then sits upright, those little pincers are up in the air floating. And obviously that's going to get the attention of all sorts of different species. So um, it's a different technique. Very similar to obviously the way you're fishing with your normal soft plastics. You just can fish a little bit slower. And obviously because that soft plastic's a little bit upright, you can get attention of fish in a slightly different way. There we go, Mark. Doesn't feel like a whiting, I don't know. It feels heavy. Oh. I don't know, no idea, it's fighting hard. Oh, what the hell? Oh, it's a big flatty. Just come to the surface, it looked a bit weird. There we go. Oh, it's a nice size one. Oh. All right, well, these conditions, thankfully, have flattened out. As we said, we were expecting it to sort of shift from a southerly to a northerly at some stage throughout the morning, and it's about 8.30 right now, and it's just starting to do that, so the conditions are starting to flatten out. Here we go. Fish on.
there you go, there's another flatty on the Ned rig. So there you go, so there's another flathead on that TRD Craw. Okay, so that's the soft plastics that we're using there, guys. So as I said, these are the Z-Man TRD Craws. That's in the Bloodworm, two and a half inch. Now, what's really cool about these is that these soft plastics are buoyant. What gets them down, obviously, is that jig head. And as you can see, they even suggest on these packets to use them with the Ned Rig. Still got the Ned Rigs there, so you can see that nice bright orange jig head. So I got the TRD Craw still rigged on there. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to head over to some shallow flat grounds around that three meters deep just be casting these on the drift working them really really slowly just letting them sort of stand upright and to me this looks like great flathead ground so we're just going to see if we can get into a couple of flathead using that yabby imitation oh it's a big flatty oh. there we go oh it's a nice size one there we go Must, yeah, it must be a flatty hole. Yeah, he's, he's not. The other ones I caught were much bigger than that, so we all go back. Here we go. Fish on. A little flatty. There you go, there's another flatty on the Ned Rig. So that is a one tenth of an ounce, and you can see they come in all different weird and wonderful colors. So you can get them in orange and natural and greens. So I like the orange one, it just stands out in the water. And you can see today we are using that Z-Man two and a half inch TRD Craw in Bloodworm. So very, very natural presentation for these waters. So this is gonna be one of the dynamite food sources around here. And as I said, what happens is you cast it very slow. This is gonna sink. Okay, and then it's gonna land on that lead and you can see that's a bit of a strange shape and then it's just gonna sit upright. So what happens is you'll cast this out and then obviously that's gonna sink down, but it's gonna sink down sort of in this way. And then when it sits on the bottom, it's gonna have your soft plastic sitting upright. So when you're using things like this, so this is a Yabby imitation, this is a Z-Man TRD Craw on the two and a half inch. So what's gonna happen with this particular soft plastic is those little nippers are gonna be suspended upright in the water column and moving around. So it's gonna give this soft plastic a lot of action. And we'll also do that with a whole range of other soft plastics. So whether it's a curl tail or a paddle tail or other types of imitations it's a really interesting and unique technique now what's also really cool about this is it works for a whole range of situations and a whole range of, of species so I use this a lot when I'm freshwater fishing targeting species like redfin and yellow belly I love using it in inshore waters like this where I'm targeting things like whiting pinkies brim flathead so there's a whole range of fish that will really take a liking to this type of profile and having your soft plastic sit upright so this is a very very deliberate style of fishing it's very slow it's quite technical but what you're going to find is it is a very successful technique now here we go Oh, good flatty. On the Ned Rigs. It's a nice flathead. There we go. That's a whiting. Yeah, it's a good whiting.
There we go. Mark. It's taking drag. Oh, my squid rod's on too. Hey. That's a whiting, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's a whiting. Look at the drag it's pulling. That's a nice whiting, mate. There we go. That's a that's a great whiting. Oh, here we go. Oh, what is that? Oh, bugger! I lost it. Um. It was like a red mullet. It was a big one. Bugger. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna get this net. That's oh, a whiting. Another one. Man, they fight hard, don't they? No, here we go. Oh, good flatty. On the Ned rigs. That's a whiting, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's a whiting. Look at the drag it's pulling. That's a nice whiting, mate. There we go. That's a that's a great whiting. Oh, I want to. There we go. Happy times now. I think your one's a lot bigger than whatever I've got. I've got a little pinky. What do you got? Oh, yours is a nice size fish, mate. There you go. Oh, yeah, there's a big patch of stuff. I'm going to just mark a waypoint here. Let me just see a big patch of stuff right below us. Mate, I just saw bubbling water everywhere here. It was just all... Just keep keep your eyes peeled. Oh, here we go, getting a bite. Here we go. Oh, this technique works. Yeah, it's there, it's there to your right. Can you see the bubbling water to your right? Oh, what is this? Pinky. Look at that. That's a nice fish. So there you go. So that is using the Ned rig with the little nipper. And the little pinky has had an absolute go today. And we're seeing some a little bit of surface action. So we're going to quickly get this guy back in the water and get on to a few more. There you go. That's actually not a bad fish at all. So see you, buddy. You're going your way. One, two. There we go. I've got a little pinky. What do you got? Oh, yours is a nice size fish, mate. There you go. There you go. So there's another one on the Ned rig and the TRD craw. Too. 
It's in here. Look at this. Wasn't even working it. I got one. Yeah, it's just set, sitting in the water. I was reading my phone. <laughs> right. And as you can see, they definitely work on Redfin too because deep down inside his gob there is that Ned rig. So we're going to do a bit of work to get that out. There you go. So there's the Ned rig there. And there's your ready. So it's not just for salt water, it definitely works in fresh water as well. That's your set up there with just a little bright grub and a uh, nice little. There you go, another one here. They're just taking them right on the edge here. On the Ned rig. And there you go, there's another one on that Ned rig.